hello. So I'm in Heathrow Airport, as you can see, and uh, I am on my way to Brisbane, Australia. Um, see Maddie, see her family, explore Australia, it'll be good. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting. It's um, last time I was in Heathrow, I was coming back from Osaka, Japan. So it's lovely to be in the airport and I get to like look at some shops, I get to go to some restaurants. Check-in was a bit long because it was like an hour because I think it's a pre-packed flight. So the first day that foreigners are allowed to come into Australia, if you're fully vaccinated, is today. So I think it's going to be a busy flight, but that's okay. Yeah, and be exciting. And um, yeah, so check-in was a bit long because like of all the your vaccination documents and stuff, but it was okay. I'm looking forward to uh, spending some time in the airport before I go. So I just picked up a cheeky meal deal from W.H. Smith. Five pounds are bloody expensive, but the airports, they get you. And now I'm on my way to the gate, and the gate is 15 minutes away from here because it's a big airport. <laughs> so it's a 15 minute walk. I'm gonna go there now. I'm glad I got my meal deal. I also bought some vegan Eaton Mess sweets, which look bloody young. I'm looking forward to getting on the plane and eating my sandwich. I bloody love these things. These things are amazing. I feel like I've got superhuman speed when I walk. You know, it's a funny thing, documenting your life and vlogging in public. And I used to get that feeling, and I still get a little bit of like, oh, is it a bit weird to do this in public? And then I'm like, no, because my goals are to um, document my life and build a community on YouTube and on social media and I think you know I'm not gonna let the worry of what other people think of me take that take my goals away from me and what I want to achieve away from me it doesn't matter at the end of the day and um, also you should never give a shit about what anybody thinks about you um, because life's too short for that and anyway everybody else is only worried about themselves and what everybody else thinks about them anyway. They won't even care about you. They won't even notice you. You you feel like the spotlight's on you. But in reality, everybody's feeling the same way about themselves and what and worrying about what other people are thinking of them. So I'm at the gate and here's the little meal deal I've got myself. I've got a lovely little cheese plowman's veggie. No mayo. Oh, sad times. I like a bit of mayo. Oh, no. I feel like prawn cocktail. And these are veggie. <laughs> Who knew? And I got these vegan Eaton Mess sweets that look really, really good. So I'm excited for those. And I got it, I'm really boring, just with a smart water. And I thought it was still a sparkling, but I don't even mind. I like a bit of sparkling. So happy days, really. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do voiceover because airplanes are very noisy and you guys wouldn't have been able to hear me very well. Um, so this is my seat and setup. Um, two windows, which was very nice. And it was very nice. It, it was in economy, which was really good. Um, it was really posh. I got some nice headphones that I could use to watch the movies with because they have funny plugs. Um, I have my AirPods to uh, listen to audiobooks and music, and I have my Kindle to read some books as well. Um, and I was very happy because I had the whole row to myself. Um, there was a guy sitting in the aisle seat on my row, but he very kindly um, asked if he could meet, uh, move to the seats in front, and they were like, yeah, and there was a whole row free in front as well. So. That's me waving goodbye to London. Um, it was just, it was a really good flight. The only thing I would say is that I wish I brought on a big bottle of water because I, I got a bit dehydrated. Um, the veggie meals that I had were yum. Um, I had a bit of a fruit salad. I had a, a vegan roll, it was gluten-free as well. Um, and this tomato pasta with some peas, it was very yummy. Um, I had my vegan sweets that I absolutely destroyed in about 
I don't know, about one hour into the flight, I just ate them all. Um, I have this thing where I always look at the map on on flights um, because I want to. Um, and then here was my lunch. I had a yogurt with this one and another fruit salad, another roll. And I forgot what it was. What was it? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that was my breakfast when I woke up. Um, it was like basically some yummy potatoes, some mushrooms, some spinach and some tomato. Um, so, yeah, really good flight. I didn't sleep at all, though. Um, <laughs> I had zero sleep. I tried um, tracking my sleep with my Apple Watch and it said I didn't get any, which was a shame. And I, as I said, I got a bit dehydrated. So I ended up taking um, two sets of ibuprofen because I get migraines when I get dehydrated um it's funny looking back at it now but i've learned my lesson i'll bring a big bottle of water on next time um so landing in singapore um airport right now it was it was great it was um it was such a beautiful day to arrive to the airport on um i just like you know exploring different airports and stuff um, it was massive. It was like, it was like this on screen right now, but everywhere, just like long, um, walkways. But I thought it was awesome. I thought it was really, um, spacey and futurist, futuristic out there. Um, and then I got on my flight to Brisbane. I only had a two hour layover. I absolutely won the jackpot again. I got another row to myself. I'm, I feel absolutely blessed and so grateful, especially in these times of COVID. Um, when, you know, we're all a bit worried about the virus and social distancing. So, so good. And also there were loads of seats around me that were free as well that um, other passengers could sit in and they would have loads of space as well so they could sleep and just stretch their legs a bit, which was so nice for everyone. Um, and so, yeah, I landed, I was exhausted, I didn't sleep and it was lovely, but I'm here in Brisbane, Australia now. Get ready for more vlogs. Love you guys. See you soon.